Tagwe Dutunu Kenatiano, Yerman Arawak Dakadiri, Claudia Foxtree. My name is Claudia Foxtree. I'm glad to be here today. I'm from the Arawak people, the first people who encountered Columbus. Imagine that the history of a people who looked like you and who shared your experience in the same location and on the same land for thousands of years was not taught in school. Your contributions to modern society were not remembered. Your religion, traditions, and culture was illegal and had to be practiced in secret until 1978. In the absence of accurate, or sometimes any, representation in films, music, literature, banks, politics, educational institutions, and so many other places, there's only one image as your role model, one image to capture all of who your ancestors were, who you were expected to become, and how others are supposed to treat you. And imagine that that is General George Armstrong Custer. No other narrative exists except what you know among your own people and pass on generation to generation. Our, not your, food, medicine, songs, stories are connected to this land whose mountains, rivers, climates, animals, and plants have been part of our heritage for thousands of years and passed through continuous line by our ancestors. Instead, history is told from the point of view of others from other lands, people who have immigrated, migrated, or been forced here, who have their own history, culture, images, and traditions in their own lands of origin. We don't have that accuracy on our own lands where we are from. Imagine that there's no other place in the world than right here to tell your narrative, and now you have and, and that you have a First Nations experience. On this land, a single stereotypical Native American mascot is different than other stereotypes and so much more damaging. It is not only its presence, it is its absence in the absence of everything or anything else here on our lands that are accurate, respectful, and known by the other 98% who is not indigenous. Matika Wilbur, an indigenous photographer, asks, how can we be seen as modern, successful people when we are still viewed as one-dimensional stereotypes? Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. <clears throat> My name is... Oh, this one.